Hi there, Sam here from Rad Australia and Possible. I'm here with Jen and Erie from the Teach for Australia program. I'm here to find out a little bit more about uh, why you hire students and a little more about who you are. So to start with Jen, can you tell me a little bit about who Teach for Australia is and what do you do? Um, we believe that all children in Australia should attain an excellent education. Yeah. And there are lots of different organisations working to combat the disadvantage that exists in Australia's education system. Yep. However, our role is to find people with fantastic leadership potential, mm -hmm. to commit to a two-year leadership development programme, yep. where they will work as a teacher and leader mm -hmm. within a school serving a low socioeconomic community, yep and across that time develop great leadership skills with a focus on how can they positively impact school and student outcomes. So our role is actually all about finding great talent and harnessing their potential so they can have the biggest and best impact on young people. Neary, could you give us a little bit of um, insight into what a student will be doing? in their two-year program? As they work as teachers in the classroom, mm -hmm. essentially from day one. So that in and of itself is a real leadership opportunity because you're leading 30 children every day wow. to develop academically. And you're learning quite a lot. You're really growing as a person across the, the two years. And, yeah. and all the while getting a lot of really personalized support. Yeah, fantastic. Some challenges you find the students are finding um, in the job? Yeah, I think it's a bit of a cheesy answer, but um, having been a teacher myself and kind of having gone through a similar graduate experience, the biggest challenge is also where you find the biggest reward, and that's that you're working with 30 young people yep. every hour, day in, day out, mm -hmm. and you get, I always just got a lot of energy from it. Mm -hmm. The flip side is that you're working with 30 people, and yep. People have good days and bad days, yep. and so that's always going to be a challenge. But for me, those highs and the rewards you get from knowing that, you know, with that student, I made that person's life better. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard to get that from any other career path. This is an incredibly challenging program, yeah. and the people that we recruit generally have been really successful up until this point and so we ask for resilience because very honestly there will be so many experiences when they'll fail and it's really hard to experience that failure initially but the other reason that we look for learning and self-evaluation is going home talking with your peers talking with your friends and family and thinking what could I do differently tomorrow in my classroom and what, yeah. how that's going to make the difference I think is honestly something that's rewarding but it, it is really challenging yeah. when when you feel that sense of responsibility of it's on you for your kids to learn it's yeah. on you to engage those students and that's both exciting but um, confronting or challenging at the same time. Common mistakes um, you both find that students are making when they are applying for your program. Can you give us a bit of insight into what students could be doing better? When students think about leadership, sometimes you can have an idea or a concept about how to best demonstrate leadership. Um, and so I think often it's trying to second guess what we might be looking for in the recruitment and selection process. And so whilst we do have a number of different competencies that we're asking those people to demonstrate through our process. Mm -hmm. We also really value the individual and the way in which they've demonstrated through their own experience. And so my advice is not to assume or think about or play a role, mm -hmm. um, but actually bring your full and whole self to the application process. Fantastic. Final question for either of you. Um, what is life like for the students after they finish their leadership development program? What's, what's next? There's a lot of different things we find alumni of our program doing. Yep. A lot are still teaching, teaching in the school they were originally placed at, maybe moving to a different school to get additional development opportunities. Um, Many are moving into leadership positions in that school at a very at a, at a relatively early wow. place, so taking yep. on leading teacher roles yep. fairly soon after. And then we have other um, alumni who are choosing to continue to kind of do the work of addressing educational inequity in different fields across the country. So okay. setting up social enterprises, working for 
PwC and using their resources and opportunities there yeah. to you know continue to help students in schools, yeah. working in government, working in policy. So there's there's a wide range of things yeah. that are um, everybody does after the program. So for a person who might not want to be a teacher for the long term, but really wants to be actively involved in community and learn some really exciting skills, yeah. this is something they should really highly consider. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Set them up for the Future. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those programs where you're going to get a real great experience, not only of what it's like to be a teacher, but also what it's like to live and experience life in low socioeconomic communities, which not everybody has had that ability to do. And it's, it's a lived experience and a life experience that you'll take with you no matter where you go. So you're really looking for those people who are future leaders but really want to make a difference. In yeah, absolutely. Life. Jen, Mary, thank you so much for your insights. I think a fantastic program for students. Uh, thank you. Thanks.